relax. If you've been following these two, you know that their hatred has been festering for a hot little while after Lotto attacked Ice Spice for making fun of her in her new song. The conflict between the two just became 10 times worse. So you might want to settle in for this one. Ice Spice has changed dramatically in the last minute. She went from bombarding people with love emojis in her Instagram comments to criticizing her and claiming Lotto was trying to copy her. What's crazy is that many people didn't even realize that Ice was criticizing Lotto until her new song, in which Ice hopped on a Twitter space with her fans. And if you're wondering why they were ever going after each other in the first place, let me give you a little background. Most of you probably don't understand it, but she revealed that the song was actually a diss at Lotto. She also branded Lotto's music as poor and made it obvious that she wanted all the smoke now. You may be surprised to learn that Lotto and Ice Spice have been compared to one another since Ice first gained notoriety. This is because they both have fair skin and are young, inexperienced women in the industry. Despite this, Ice Spice and Lot have chosen to ignore the comparisons and have even begun to follow each other on Instagram. Became even more problematic when Lotto came for Nicki Minaj and called her a 40-year-old bitter grand M. For those of you who don't know, Ice Spice is a very big deal was even caught spamming lots of people's Instagram comments, calling her pretty, and leaving a bunch of love with hearty emojis every time Lots would post. Fan of Nikki. In fact, she's been a barber since childhood, so she wasn't living for the lottery. Throwing shade at Nikki, she posted a video of Cleo Trappa criticizing the younger girls for constantly dragging the older girls as if they weren't going to grow old too. I don't like when the young girls go after the older girls. I find it offensive that none of you show any respect for your elders. To start, if you quarrel with an elderly person, you should consider the fact that you will eventually reach that age and you should hope that it happens graciously. Because of the way you guys are treating older people, you make it seem like you're going to stay young forever. Benjamin Button, for example, didn't know this, so she quickly unfollowed Ice Spice on Instagram. Ice didn't waste any time and also returned the favor by afterwards, after unfollowing Lotto, Ice Spice posted and removed a screenshot of Lotto unfollowing her first, captioning it, rolling loud, mad fun. Lotto replied in the comments stating, go up. Things got even messier when a red carpet interview of Lotto acting like she didn't know who Ice Spice was started to get started. Gain popularity during the interview. The interviewer interrupted Ice Spice's song a few times and asked Lotto to finish. However, each time the microphone turned to Lotto to finish the song, she would make an odd face and pretend she hadn't heard the song before. In her life, how can I lose even a day? As many of you are aware, there have been some rumors circulating lately suggesting that Lotto and 21 Savage are secretly dating, with Lotto even going so far as to tattoo 21's government name behind her ear. If I'm already chosen, I feel like you're staring at me, so I decided to be petty by slipping into her comments. Nevertheless, back to Lotto and Ice Spice. They got into it again when fans began accusing Lotto of emulating me. As you all know, Ice has a very signature look of always wearing short skirts and mini crop tops. This was never how Lotto dressed, but once the ice exploded. Additionally, Lotto began dressing that way out of the blue. A fan observed this and tweeted, even though I think Ice Spice's style needs to evolve, I'm noticing that Lotto is stealing her style right in front of our eyes. Lotto apparently did the same thing with Rini Rucci, but the fan was unaware of it. Remarked, I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not bugging her. After posting side-by-side -side photos of herself with Ice. Before Ice realized what was going on, she replied, I hate a girl with no identity. Which another person replied, they're stealing yours. Ice reacted to the remarks and stated that they Ice Spice received no direct response from Lotto. But she did post a tweet saying, I don't like how y'all take my tweets and make them fit your weak ass narratives. When Lotto uploaded the same picture on Instagram, a fan lashed back by reposting it on Twitter and criticizing her for assuming Isis's postures in the photo as she leans over and turns her back to the camera in Isis's iconic posture. Lotto can be seen imitating it. In response to the fan, Lotto replied, every time you guys accuse me of copying people, I'll make it clear, no more, no less. After this extremely chaotic back and forth, they both seemed to keep their names from one another's lips until a few days ago, when someone uploaded a little video of her rapping to her unreleased song, Sunday Service. The video quickly became popular, but not because of the song itself, but rather because many noticed that a video of Ice Spice was playing on the TV in background. What made things even messier was that, right before the video appeared, 
She was rapping a few words from the song, which some took as a jab at Ice. I don't know why she's so apprehensive. I just want one-on-one -on -one time. Ice didn't reply to this right away, but she eventually released the melody, Thank You for Letting Her Fart in the Song, where she threw a few jabs at Lotto. She boasted that she was richer than Lotto and threatened to take 21 Savage away from her if she didn't stop coming for her. She thought you were you, even though the fart bees were swift, but I was quick. Many people didn't even realize this was supposed to be a diss track at Lotto when Ice released this song. Until lately, everyone thought it was just a cute little tune to dance to. Be thick, but I'm thicker. She could be rich, but I'm wealthier, and her man doesn't care AF now. Ice used her Twitter account to reveal that the song was actually a diss track because, it seems, she felt like people were making fun of her when she performed a song preview with her music video playing in the background. This was her way of responding to let people know that, considering that I'm the hilarious part of it, is that you never shadow the out of it. In the back of your week segment like that, I was really like, so I was like, wait a second, that's me. So I'm like, well, since we're talking about me, let's talk about me. I dropped that, which was really just an S. I was trying to act deluded, thinking that there was no way they could have put her in the rear of the film, even if it was so brazen. I thought it had to be false, that it was AI. But darn it, I said, and we're being brave today. However, what actually happened was the tiny instead of responding to I Spice on Twitter, as she usually does, Snippet L chose to go to the Bronx. More precisely, the neighborhood where I Spice grew up to film the music video for her song Sunday Service Baby which is about the rap girls' fight this year. It's a few days ago, Megan and Nikki faced off. Now, Lotto and Ice Spice do. At this time, it's unclear how long Lotto plans to drag Ice Spice. But given that she's traveled to Ice's hometown merely to be shady, it won't be long. The feud seemed to be starting every single day. People quickly offered their opinions before she began dropping diss tracks to address Ice, as is customary. For example, one person commented, it doesn't matter what Ice Spice says or does. We all know a lot of WAP circles around her in her sleep. A girl who farted isn't what you think. A song is a competition for many. Another person said that Ice has no reason to be against Lotto because it is painfully obvious that her leader has been speaking to her. They also said that Spice is being pathetic because she is allowing someone to start feud with someone she literally got along with when she first came out, which is so immature and also popular. Assuming that Lotto is the superior rapper, this is really not a debate, but now I'd like to know what you guys think about Lotto dragging Ice Spice for making fun of her. And do you guys think that's because Ice Spice wants to stay on Nikki's good side and not let Lotto get away with it? Please let me know. Let us know what you think in the comments area below, and don't forget to check out this link to view this other really dirty film.